start. Uh, hello, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Atul Kulkani. I've done uh, engineering in computer science. Then after that, uh, I've done a master's in uh, social sciences from Tata Institute of Social Science uh, in uh, urban governance and policy. Uh, this is regarding the main uh, uh, strategy which is going to be discussed now. <coughs> Firstly, Uh, firstly, I'll be telling about two things. One is the pre mains uh, strategy. Uh, second is on the main state itself. How to approach the mains. Uh, first is how the pre main strategy is uh, roughly after your uh, prelims, uh, you will have uh, approximately 100 days to 120 days. So, just uh, don't wait for the results. After uh, one week of uh, getting uh, or uh, writing your prelims, you just uh, start for the mains preparation. So, assuming that uh, the prelims is on April 23rd, uh, this year 2015, uh, say roughly the result would be out by September or something uh, in the early September. Uh, so, you will have approximately 100 days. So, plan for this 100 days. Uh, how do we plan for the pre mains? So, roughly you have 100 days of time. Try to make a plan for the entire 100 days. Try to see that uh, the all the 100 days are uh, uh, used in a very uh, justified manner. So you have to you, uh, you devote your time for general studies as well as optional paper. Don't keep the optional paper at the last. So because you will end up uh, not concentrating on the optional paper. Optional paper is very important because you have a hold on it. You can easily have the framework of the syllabus and you can easily try to uh, finish the optional paper uh, side by side with the general studies paper. So this is the three main strategy. Uh, on coming to the uh, mains, on the day of the mains itself, so on the day of the mains, try to approach the mains in a very uh, simple manner, don't try to uh, agitate your mind, say thinking about something else. Uh, go to the hall, uh, just plain blank mind. So on the first day itself, you will have uh, essay top essay paper. So <coughs> the essay paper, uh, I I think everyone knows about the format of the means. You have a essay paper for general studies paper, and uh, you have two optional papers. And uh, these are the four. These are the important papers which you need to concentrate. The essay paper. We'll discuss uh, right now about the essay paper. Uh, till 2013, you had one essay to be written, which was of uh, 2,500 words, which are approximately 24 uh, pages in the UPSC sheet. Uh, this year, in 2014, the essay the, we had two essay topics. Uh, one in section one. You had two sections, one uh, in section A and uh, one question in section B. So you have to choose two topics each from one of the sections. So first thing, how to approach the essays. So what is UPSC going to test in your essay paper? UPSC already has for general uh, studies paper. But in essay paper, they are not testing your knowledge. They are trying to test your imagination, how well you will be able to coherently represent your ideas, how imaginative you are, how critical thinking you can bring uh, in a very lucid manner. See, being an administrator, you will be, uh, be asked to write uh, policy documents, various other documents, which you should be able to take in uh, different views, conflicting views, other things and try to make a comprehensive document. This is what is the expectation of the examiner. So try to understand what UPSC expects from the essay. Essay is, uh, uh, you have to be imaginative, think like a author, try to present ideas in a very co co comprehensive manner. So coming to the essays, uh, you have to attend two essays from 2014, one in section one, one in section two. So first, most important thing is, choosing the topic itself.
how do we choose a topic from in the essays so in section 1 you have four uh, topics which you have to choose you have to write one topic and similarly in section b so in section 1 if you out of the four topics you have to choose one of them so this is the most important uh, part of the essay if you choose a wrong topic then you will end up uh, writing a uh, very less essay or very bad essay where you will fetch no marks at all so first important thing is choosing the topic you uh, for every background be it engineer be it social science uh, doctors any one of them you will have a topic for the topic of your choice where you will be able you would have already read it or you would have heard uh, about it uh, so how first thing is to try to choose uh, uh, one topic or two topics if you are confused between uh, two topics then what you can do is go to the last page of the essay where the upsc would have given that uh, booklet of the essay try to go to the last page where you can do a rough work try to take a topic and then try to generate as many points as possible brainstorm on uh, say if there are two topics you want to write brainstorm on all the two the, on on the two topics try to see where you will be able to generate maximum number of points so then after you then brainstorm on the top, on the topic then you uh, try to uh, divide the points into different dimensions like historical dimension social dimension political dimension like this economic dimension you can try to uh, uh, do a framework of the essay so that you will be able to generate and put the, a framework for the essay so after you choose the topic you you have to invest time in choosing the topic even though if you lose time it doesn't matter you just have to uh, be very sure that you will be able to uh, attack the essay very comprehensively second thing is how do we start the essay after you write down the brainstorming the points in the rough page you have to start the essay in such a manner that it directly attacks the essay topic so uh, whether you should have an introduction whether you should have uh, some kind of statistics this is what is the strategy so what uh, you can do is to be uh, to catch the attention of the examiner try to uh, give an anecdote or some statistics or some story or quote some poem write some song which actually tries to portray the entire message of the essay in the starting introduction so that the examiner knows that you have understood the topic well and you will be able to impress upon him after in the first page don't try it uh, words like uh, introduction these are not uh, these are not good practice of writing essay just start the essay and after that uh, you just write the in the first page broadly write a catchy uh, introduction and then you can uh, the best thing what best articles you can see is they will tell what the essay is going to talk about and uh, what examiner can expect in the future pages what he is going to read so you can write uh, what all uh, topics what critical questions you are trying to address in this essay and then you start off the essay then second part after the introduction is the body part here you try to generate uh, headings subheadings you try to generate headings and subheadings uh, so that uh, uh, essay is actually logical flow is there and then you will be able to uh, see that there is a connect a structured flow in the essay uh, essay see you can, there is a trade off uh, between gs paper and essay paper you need gs paper you have 25 questions roughly of 200 words so it is 5000 words in essay paper you just have to write 2500 words so uh, you have lot of time you just have to plan accordingly and try to generate more uh, headings try to make it the coherent so next next main thing is i divide this uh, whole uh, body part into three uh, critical points one is the ideas second one is how you express the ideas and then how you structure the ideas 
so first one is generating the ideas so try to generate as many different uh, possible angles don't try to think very myopic just uh, based on your uh, uh, local setting or uh, say indian perspective try to think uh, uh, from a bird's view perspective at a global perspective try to bring in more dimensions try to link uh, different uh, uh, subjects where i give this uh, uh, something called as spelt approach where uh, spelt is like uh, thinking in social dimension economic dimension political dimension and environment dimension try to bring in all these dimensions and generate the ideas and then generate headings and subheadings second one is the expression how do we write an essay whether it should be in paragraph whether you should use bullet points points whether you should use flow charts please don't try to use any diagrams flow charts in the essay even uh, at the worst case if the diagram is able to understand without much explanation then we try to use a diagram which uh, uh, which are unable to avoid the diagram itself until unless that don't try to use any flow chart or diagrams don't try to write in uh, points because it shows that uh, uh, you are not able to co coherently represent your ideas in paragraph and paragraphs uh, while structuring the paragraph don't try to write uh, lengthy paragraphs or very too short paragraphs so this size is also not ideal and a very big uh, paragraph is also not ideal so in between this uh, paragraph should have uh, very uh, not too short not too long should be in between that and uh, most important thing is in each paragraph try to write only one idea in that paragraph if you are able to uh, generate another idea move to the next paragraph so in between these two paragraph use a connecting uh, terms such as start this paragraph but while so such uh, uh, such uh, connecting terms should be used between paragraphs so that the ideas gets uh, coherently represented uh, within the paragraph itself don't uh, and another important point is don't try to use very flowery language or uh, a very uh, dictionary kind of oriented language try to be simple no one expects you to be a master in any english but uh, try to uh, give very simple lucid presentation of ideas with a logical flow then after you finish uh, the body part you try to uh, give a conclusion uh, if you are giving any uh, uh, critical assessment critical analysis of uh, they say try to give uh, even redressal mechanism the way forward you cannot just uh, criticize something and try to end up in a very negative tone try to give a way forward how we will going to solve the uh, problem or uh, how the essay tries to address this uh, one more thing in the introduction never start with any uh, negative terms negative uh, sentences it gives a very bad look uh, try to give a positive uh, thing try to attack the essay on its uh, thing example we, you can if there is a topic on sustainable development on climate change you don't say that the earth is uh, uh, severely polluted beyond its repair and uh, we have, the humans are mostly responsible for this such uh, very uh, drastic statements have to be avoided uh, so that uh, it doesn't cast a very negative impression on the essay another important point in essay is uh, never use terms like uh, i me uh, any first uh, uh, direct speech uh, sentences in your essay Uh, because it uh, these are uh, used by uh, uh, great authors in their autobiographies uh, so uh, upsc is not expecting such uh, uh, their traits uh, of uh, a personality in such an essay so try to you avoid the using first uh, uh, <coughs> statements like i me and uh, other things